Hello, everyone. Welcome. I am your teacher, Teacher Vanessa. And I am your English 6 teacher today. We will be having our first quarter, Module 3, English 6, Connecting Lives. And we will be listening our virtual audio for Lesson 3, Making Connections. Our lesson for today will equip you to make connections between information viewed and personal experiences. At the end of the lesson, you will be able to note details from the story you read and identify the simple tenses of verbs, present, past, and future. Are you ready? First mission is, what's in? But before that, you prepare a ball pen and a notebook as your answer sheet. Let us start! As a recap for your quarter one, module three, lesson two, answer the following. Identify what tense of verb is used in the sentence. Number one. Mario planted some vegetables in their backyard yesterday. I will write a short poem about the COVID-19 tonight. Number three, she sings sweetly in our class presentation today. Number four, my friend talked softly in our conversation last Sunday. Number five, Mr. Santos will prepare her modules for his pupils. Now, let us check your answers. Number one, past tense. Number two, future tense. Number three, present tense. Number four, past tense. Number five, future tense. Very good! You are already familiar about the tenses of the verb. Again, the tenses of the verbs are past tense, present tense, and future tense. Now, let us proceed to the next task. What is new? In your daily routine, you make connections in everything and anything. At this time, let us read the short poem. Make connections. I read and I connect it to my life. I read and I connect it to what I read. I read and I connect it to the world. I learn when I connect. I enjoy when I connect. Life is to make connections. As you read, you may relate it to your own life experience, to the book you have read before, and even to the happenings in the world. Making Connections It is a strategy that can assist you in making meaning from a text, something you have seen on TV about how the information you are reading connects to other familiar and the world works that goes far beyond your own personal experiences. There are three connections. First, it is a connection between texts. Readers gain insight during reading by thinking about how the information they are reading connects to other familiar texts, and that what we call text-to-text. Text. Example, this character has the same problem that I read about in a story last year. The ending of this story is the same from the story I read before. The two examples are of text-to-text text because there is connection from the text of the two stories. The second connection is text to self. It is a highly personal connection that a reader makes between a piece of reading material and the reader's own experiences or life. 
Example of text to self. This story reminds me of a vacation we took to my grandfather's farm. I remember my high school days as I read this story. Again, these two examples given is an example of a text to self because there is connection between the text and to your own experience. The last connection is text to world. It is the larger connections that a reader brings to a reading situation. Learn about things through television, movies, magazines, and newspapers. Example of text to world. I saw a program on television that talked about things described in this article. She read from the news that there is an increased number of individuals tested positive of COVID-19. Again, they are two examples is text to world because there is a connection between the text and the real world. Are you ready for your task 3? What is more? If you can recall anything as you view, write I connect. But if you cannot recall anything, write I cannot connect. Number 1. Number 2. Number three. Number four. Number five. Now, let us check your answers. Since we have different answers, make sure that your answer make connections with the information in the picture from your own personal experiences. Very good! Now, let us check if you fully understand what I have learned. Let us process what you have learned. These are strategies in making connections. Namely, number one, it is a common between texts. Sometimes, when reading, readers are reminded of other things that they have read. Other books by the same author, stories from similar genre, or perhaps on the same topic. Number two, connections are the larger connections that a reader brings to a reading situation. We all have ideas about how the world works that goes far beyond our own personal experiences. We learn about things through television, movies, magazines, and newspapers. Number three, connections are highly personal connections that a reader makes between a piece of reading material and the reader's own experiences or life. Now, let's check your answers. Number one, text to text. Number two, text to world. Number three, text to self. Very good! You fully understand the three different types of connections. Again, text to text, text to self, text to world. Read the story and make connections as you fill in the chart. The title of the story is Boy, the Balut Vendor by Anna Marie E. Villano. There was once a poor family lived 
in a slum area in Iloilo City. The father is a balut vendor and the mother is a housewife. One day, the father got sick and boy being the eldest of seven siblings had to do the task of his father. Boy started selling balut every after school in the nearby barangays. Boy usually got home late and very tired, but he never missed school. Teacher Anna, Boy's advisor, got pity of him and she started giving Boy some foods and some penny. After a year of struggles and hardships, Boy successfully graduated in elementary. His family is very proud and thankful to him. Boy continued to sell balot as he continued high school and he still got support from his teachers because of his good values and attitude. After reading the story, write about how the story is similar or different from your own life by using the questions in the chart. In the first column, you will see in the story. In this column, you will discuss what is happening in the story. In the second column, in my life, you are going to answer the following questions. Number one. What does this remind me of my life? Number two, what is this similar to in my life? Number three, how is this different from my life? Let us check your answer. Since we have different ideas, make sure you fill in the questions that similar to your life. In this task assessment, we will evaluate what you have learned in our lesson. Make connections by identifying if the lines from the different short stories and clips from the news is text to self, text to text, or text to the world. Number 1. The couple had a son named Bayabas whose task was to take good care of their three fat carabaos. Number two, once there was a boy who was so lazy and his name was Juan Tamad. Ilo Ilo took its name from Irong Irong the old name of the city of Iloilo, a tongue of land that sticks out like a nose on the south of Iloilo River. Number 4. The world was confronted with several pandemic before. This is the first caused by a coronavirus. Number 5. Barangay officials strictly prohibit residents to go out from their homes during enhanced community quarantine. Now, let's check your answers. Number 1. Text to text. Number 2. Text to self. Number 3. Text to world. Number four, text to world. Number five, text to world. Now, for your additional activities, enjoy recalling the news clips, articles, stories, and poems you have read. Then, you can fill in the chart. In the first column, you see when I read. In the second column, it made me think of. And in the last column, this is a. 
wherein you choose text-to-self connection. It is text-to-text -text or text-to-book connection and text-to-world connection. Have fun in making connections! Reminder, you are going to pass your answer notebook together with your modules. Thank you students for a job well done. See you!